Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark playthrough where we have a confusing set of caves to navigate. No, oh, this one goes somewhere else? Hey, one little battle before you enter Rassic City. Okay? Wait, is this Rassic City already? <laughs> Here I was looking for a healer and meanwhile we're like two steps from the city. Yeah. Uh, I do want to see then what's in that cave up to the north then. Also, ow, that one hurt. Good thing we restore a lot of hit points. Let me guess, he has a Countula? Oh, Dracubat. Cool. Oh, actually, Draining Kiss is really good then. Because you're part Dark type. I laugh at your piddly crunch. Yeah, I guess Vincent's pretty good for long roots. So is Marjorie, actually, because she has the shell bell. Fang's good just because he's strong. Ugh, too strong for me. The ancient museum in Rask City has information on these runes. Okay. Pause that thought. <laughs> we had something up here to explore. Because there was an item. And there's a guy. Dragonfang. Oh. When I win, please show me the exit. Dude, you are two steps away from the exit. Y'all gotta stop saying this stuff like this. Oh, a steel type. Hmm. And it's using Bide. That's great. Uh, let's go Fang. Still gonna get hit, but not too bad. Oof. It's a good thing we're two steps from Rassic City. What else you got? Explonade. Yeah, we'll just keep fanging. Don't feel like dealing with your shenanigans. No! I think I can find the exit by myself, really. I should hope so. I'm taking a break from exploring the ruins. Let's battle. Okay. We can destroy this one, too. Nice. Uh, oh, Jewel Toll. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll get Zip. Because what, Electric should be a neutral hit? Yeah. Atomatro? Oh, this must be Atomix's evolution. Uh, which means we should put Fang back in. Steel Electric. Is that Atomix's evolution? It looks like it could be. Kind of looks a little flatter, though. Interesting. Break is over. These ancient runes are really mysterious. That they are. What's through this way? Mm. Hi. I think this way's a dead end, so it's time for a battle. A dead end with items? And cool Pokemon? No, don't throw that out. Watch, he's gonna have three of these. Oh no, he has an Explonade. 
which I don't remember what type Explonate is. Steel something maybe? Steel rock? Probably? Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, maybe Marjorie wasn't the best idea, but... She'll be fine. Not gonna get that lowered stat, though. No, oh, now we're finally gonna get it. Now that we don't need it. Oh. No. No. Good job, Marjorie. Oh, wrong Pokemon. Alright, flamethrower. Easy. So glad we have a fire type on our team. That would have been a crappy battle otherwise. Dead end. Head on, maybe you'll find something useful. I just might. Maybe I'll find some dragons. Dire hit. That is not a dragon. No, oh, items. Escape rope. Wow, great, thanks. And agent power. Okay. Neat, I guess. Nothing. Okay. Well, that was a fun little detour. Good for some extra training, I guess. A couple of items. And now we can go to Rask City. And heal too. Rassic City, the city of the past. This place looks like a castle. Hello there, trainer. I have unique berries grown specially on offer that raises the friendship of your Pokemon. Fortunately, they lower the stats too. Okay, just got all those. I've always wanted to live in a castle. That's why I moved here from Rustbolt City. This is a castle. I've seen shady people who are dressed funny running from Ancient Pass. Wonder what they were doing. And there's Rodney. Don't battle me yet, Rodney. I'm not ready. Hey, Shady, you made it through Ancient Pass. That was an intense battle against those Team Solar and Lunar guys. Wonder what's up with that other crystal Rex took. Maybe we can use it to swap the teams? Rex said he'll meet us in the Ancient Museum. That's the building south of us. But first we agreed to battle- Oh, Rodney. Rod and Bud. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but to be fair, let me heal your Pokemon first. Oh, the game knows. It's like, oh yeah, by the way. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. He's got more than six Pokemon, he said. So he's got some new ones now. Leonite. Forty-three, huh? Not bad. It's got six of them, though. That's alright. Our team's pretty good. Uh, Bob Blaze. Oh, he got the fire type. I thought Rodney was gonna get the rock type one. Did he change his mind? Interesting. Oh, it knows earth power. Ow. That's not good. Yeah, that double weakness. Hmm. It's fire type? Uh. Heck. That's a doozy, actually. Oh, it knows hyper voice, too. Man, this thing's a good Pokemon. Come on, Lunate. Okay, well that one's down. Thank heck. 
What else you got? Terra Volt. Sure, send it in. Oh, ow. Maybe he faint it? Ah, not quite. Womp womp. Uh, oh boy, this battle's going great so far. Rodney stepped his game up. Job zip. Uh, Bulker. Uh, Vincent, you can deal with that. Because Gale Wind is a really good move. I don't know if he- or Gale Rush, sorry. We got it while we were training a while ago. It's a, I think, 80? Base 80 power? Why do you have Ice Punch? Dang, Rodney's got all the counter moves. Um, yeah, anyways, Gale Rush is a good move. Alright, what else you got? His starter, I guess. Budsaur, out of all things to have at this point. Okay, this is an easy one. Nice. And Salt Slam. Nice cute starter. Okay, well that battle got progressively easier. Mm, maybe the next time. Mm, another loss for me. Let me heal your Pokemon. Thanks, Rodney. I'm going to the Ancient Museum now and you should come too. Rex is waiting for us. See you in a bit. Okay. Uh, oh, you guys are all level 52. Rask City, the city of the past. We don't need to heal anymore. It's raining na- It's raining na whales, hallelujah. It's raining na whales, hallelujah. Oh, I'm trying to write a song about na whales, but it's hard because I've never seen one. Could you show me one? Sure. We don't have one. I've wished that I really want to come true. I've heard a wish will come true if you touch a meaty rock, which knows the move wish. I would love to, but I don't have a meaty rock and I have no idea where to get one. Or what it is, even. Uh, I was going to say, it's probably not going to let me go up there, is it? I like to share my knowledge with them. Train oh, we don't even have a dragon type, do we? I don't think we do. So we can't get the Draco plate. If you'd like, I could judge the intriguing potential of your Pokemon. The heck is that supposed to mean? I see, I see. This Pokemon's potential is above average overall. Oh, and it's best in its attack set. Are these IVs? Well, this is interesting. Sure. See, I see this Pokemon's potential is decent overall. And it's got good speed, okay. Sure. Uh, what else? Might? Decent. Yeah, it's got good attack. Okay, well that's good. Uh, cause Might is a physical attacker. It's above average. And it's got good attack. Special attack is equally good. Oh, good. That's why Luna has been doing so well. It's got good special attack. Marjorie's also been doing really well. She's gotta be good, right? Decent? That's it? And good attack? Really? I would not have expected that. I would hate to see a really good IV uh, glowing then. Ah, Fang is relatively superior. And it's got good speed. Hmm. That's pretty cool that this guy kind of tells you about IVs and stuff. Alright, fine. Let's go to the Ancient Museum. You guys gonna charge me 500 bucks? Shade, there you are. Please come this way. Your friends are already waiting here for you. This is the legendary exhibit. This is where we can learn more about the legendary crystals. The scientist next to me is Sean. 
He specializes in ancient artifacts, and he knows a lot about the history of Rakota. Hello, guys. Rex filled me in. So, those two teams have taken the Sun and Moon Crystals. This isn't good. What do those crystals do? Why are they so important? The crystals are connected to the legendary Pokémon, Solaran and Lunara. They were formed when they were born. We believe the crystals hold a special power. An energy, if you will. This energy grants power to Solaran and Lunaro, making them stronger than they already are. It's like a battery. There's a myth which states, The who holds the crystals of sun and moon holds the power to command order and chaos. That must be why they wanted those crystals. So now that they have the crystals, they can control the legendary Pokemon? That's what the myth suggests. So this isn't good news. If they manage to release Solaran and Lunaro back into our world, they can control them like puppets. Since two different sides hold a crystal, there will be nothing but disaster. Solaran and Lunaro are matched in power, so there will be no end. This is terrible, but Rex, the balance crystal. This crystal has a purpose. We just don't know what purpose is. what that purpose is. Perhaps it can help in some way. We have our top scientists working on it and figuring out what it can do. Okay, my guess is that there's probably going to be a third Pokemon, kind of like Rayquaza, who, like, controls Solaran and Lunaro. And that's probably what the balance one does. Controls it. I knew it'd be important. I'm glad those teams overlooked it. We can stop them. We're already winning. Shade has the core stone. They don't know that. They do if you yell it loud enough. Keep that stone with you. I trust it will be safe in your hands. For now, we'll let the scientists research the balance crystal and try to find something that can help. So how about you three take a look around the city and forget about this trouble for a while. You are on a journey after all. Enjoy it. We will, and we promise to stop Team Solar and Lunar any chance we get. I'm sure you will. Now, please enjoy yourselves. Sean and I will continue researching the balance crystal. Ooh, expedition dump. I hope they can figure out how the balance crystal works really soon. The only thing I know is that we have to stop Team Tol Solar and Lunar. But first, I'll go to the castle and battle the Castell and Lizzie. You should do the same, Shade. As I said, I'm not battling Lizzie. I'm a little afraid of dragon types. Kira, you literally have Pixel Lily on your team. You'd, you're probably the best one to fight dragon types. I'm going to Green Pine City for my next badge. Professor Pinewood also said he'll be there and that he has a gift for us. See you two in Green Pine City. Bye. Good luck battling Lizzie, Shade. I know you'll beat her. But first, it's my... Oh, I didn't read that. Shouldn't student scientists while they're working. Fine. Let's explore this museum since we got in for free. A skull of an ancient Pokemon. It shares similarities with the skull of a Tarexite, which I think is our fossil Pokemon. The evolution, anyways. How cool is that? The skull looks like the head of my favorite Pokemon, Tarexite. I love this museum. A few days ago, I found a weird jug and brought it here. They analyzed it and found out it's more than 500 years old. Now you can see it in this glass box. That's neat. What about these? Is that a meteorite? Artifacts from an old civilization found in ancient past. Uh, hello there. I was wondering if you could help me. You see, ever since I was a little girl, I was fascinated with ancient history. Now that I'm older, I've been studying here at Rasic City, researching specifically on ancient organisms. When the technological breakthrough of reviving prehistoric Pokémon from fossils was discovered, I was overwhelmed with happiness. I desire to give them a second chance and to see in person truly how magnificent they are. Could you please fulfill my dreams and resurrect the Pokémon from this fossil? Ooh. Oh, she's gonna give us the other fossil. Aww. That means so much to me. Thank you. That must mean there's another way to get the starters then, too, right? Bones of an ancient Pokemon. Research shows that they could belong to a Stegajolt. Wait. Did the fossil Pokemon have three stages for evolution? Did you know that there was once an ancient civilization living in ancient past? But then there was an incident, and the people of the civilization all disappeared. You can find out more of their history in this museum. Uh, where are we here? Well, there's Rexite. No, okay, so that's a completely different Pokemon then, because there's Stegasteel. Oh, and Atomix's evolution is Atomatro. Uh, just gonna take a quick look here, see if we're getting... Because we're doing pretty well with the decks, actually. And then we get down here and it's just like, eh. We don't really have a lot filled in. Okay, so Sharko's evolution is Markrush. Yeah, see, after Gelatic and Gelanip, there's still a spot. So, don't know. Frogu is that evolution. What else do we have? Orchid, green gravel, snoozies. Oh, Parafox must have a couple evolutions, maybe? Ooh. That might be a good one to train then. Uh, Giraffire evolves, Hippon evolves. 
Cosmet evolves. Okay, quite a few things evolve actually. Okay, where can we find Wing on actually? Okay, back where we were. I guess we just didn't we didn't really look that much in that area in the ancient pass. Hello, and welcome to the ancient museum. Entry is free. Oh, wow. And this is a better museum than all the other ones we visited. <laughs> well, that uh, ship one. Hello there, welcome to Rastic City. Such a beautiful old city, there aren't many places like this around the world. It's marvelous. Have you heard of the mysterious statues in the ancient past? I wonder where they are. Yeah, we didn't actually see any, did we? I've heard that dragon types are weak to fairy types. Imagining a Lophog defeating a Hydrogon makes me laugh, haha. <laughs> Thought that said High Dragon for a second. I'm like, that's not a Rakota Pokemon. Hello, have you seen the castle yet? The castle has been handed down to a family of dragon experts for centuries. Claire, the dragon gym leader in the Jota region, is a part of that family line. Isn't that amazing? You get to go to a castle. If you wish, I could teach your Pokemon the strongest dragon type move. Draco Meteor? I'm guessing it's probably Draco Meteor. When I'm older, I want to be as strong as Rex and Lizzie. A lot of strong trainers come from Rask City, and I'll be the next. Oh, there's Rick. Home sweet home. Okay, so that's where we need to go. I've heard that the castle is an unofficial gym, and if you beat the leader there, she will give you something incredible. Oh. Never mind. Let's go in here, then. That's great, dear. I'm pleased to hear how well you're doing. I'm sure you can beat Rex if you wanted to. I will beat him after I win the Pokemon League. Oh, who's this? Sup. <laughs> That's Shade. I met her in Serpentine City. She's competing in gym battles, too, so we battled a few times. Arrival? That's cool. I'm still gonna win the Rakota League, even if Shade is in it. You'll see. Oh, that's probably Lizzie. Well, look who it is. You should battle your big sister before taking on the Elite Four, don't you think? Oh, Lizzie, of course. Mom and Dad told me that you started your journey and you're competing in gym battles. That's great. But just because we're related doesn't mean I'll go easy on you in a battle. I expect nothing less. And come to Rassic Castle. Let's see if you're really able to defeat me. All right, then. I'll have a quick training session. I'll battle you and beat you. Shade, don't think you even stand a chance against my sister. Sorry for my little brother, but he feels like he needs to prove himself. He thinks he's always in my shadow just because I run Rassic Castle and I'm an expert with Pokemon Mega Evolutions. He may appear to be mean and hot-headed, but he's actually a good boy. What? Professor Pinewood told you about my an, about an expert in Mega Evolutions? Oh, and what's that? I have one. That's a Flearonite. But you don't know how to use it, right? Huh? <laughs> Alright, I'll teach you how to use it. But first you have to battle me in Rassic Castle. I'll be waiting for you there. I hope you don't fear Dragon-type Pokemon. Heh <laughs> Just a little bit. Rick is a very hot-headed boy. He thinks he has to overcome his sister, but for me, he'll always be my little sunshine. I love both my children, even if Rick isn't as talented as Lizzie, but I think he'll go that the way that is right for him. Aw, what a wholesome family. Okay, Rasset Castle. Owner Rex, Castell, and Lizzie. Oh, we can go around the castle a bit. Is there anything back here? Nope. What about the other side? Also, nope. Do you have something? Yeah, you do. Okay. We've got a castle with dragons. Welcome to Rask Castle. It's an unofficial gym in this region. Lizzie the Castellan appointed by Rex specializes in dragon type Pokemon and Mega Evolutions. If you manage to beat her, I think she would tell you more about Mega Evolutions. Do you guys all fight me? These books on the shelves tell the history of the noble family that owned the castle. Did you know that Rex, one of the Elite Four, is one of their last living descendants? I did not know that. No. You look like a trainer. Out of the way, please. I have to do my work. You're not a trainer. This castle is wonderful. I hope someday I can marry a prince of the castle like this. Hee <laughs> hee. Sorry, I can't talk. There's so much that needs cleaning. Dragon types mostly have giant tails which can be used to attack their opponents. You should give it a try. So that'd be great. If I had any dragon types. I think I should get a castle like this. I'll ask my father to buy me one. I love this castle. When I was young, I dreamed of being the princess of it. But the last female descendant of the noble family is Claire, a gym leader in Johto. She is the only person who can say they are the princess of the castle. 
Okay, you can fight me. Here comes my dragon rush. Oh, Zip's not gonna be good though, is he? If I yell- what? Oh my god, don't tell me that's a fairy dragon type. Because that's a terrifying combo then. That's a fairy dragon type. I want one of those. I guess ice is still good against it. Dragon impact? What is that? Oh, that's supposed to be a strong move. Okay. I think moon blasted more damage. Uh, okay, wing on. Perfect. Ouch. Good job. Stopped my tracks. Lizzie is an awesome dragon type trainer. Only Rex her master is stronger. Okay, where can we find a Faeli? That's all I want to know in, in life. There it is. Area unknown. What? Oh. I mean, somebody's got to give it to us. Lame. Uh, okay, let's just switch out. Um, let's put Marjorie up. I haven't really used Dazzling Gleam yet. I haven't had a chance. I've trained Dragon type Pokemon my whole life. Good for you. It's your Pyro. Oh, I like that one. That's a cool design. Um, yeah, Dazzling Gleam. It. Oh, yeah, right, fire type. Ouch. Uh, discharge? No. Maybe? I don't think we're gonna live. Nope, we're dead. Okay. Um, take two then. A Droot. That is indeed a dragon fruit. Literally. Pink me. What? <laughs> that's a fairy type, right? No, that's- well, dragon type. Might be dragon fairy again, though. Man, I don't even know what any of these are. Is that thing related to the one we're looking for? No, it's not. Can we find a pink me somewhere? Also unknown. Hmm. This is problematic, isn't it? <laughs> All these cool dragon Pokemon and I can't find them anywhere. I don't know how I'm supposed to get them then. Anyways, we need to go heal. So if Lizzie uses the same thing of, um, you know, choose four Pokemon to fight her, I guess we'll do Glowing, Moon Key. What else would be good? Man, see, Huskold would finally be useful now, but... Eh, she's pretty weak. Feel the power of my Dragon-type Pokemon! Don't have any more Fire-types, please. Strike on. Okay, so we have a bunch of elemental dragons is essentially what I'm picking up. Also, that thing looks derpy as heck. Sorry, strike on. Ah, and wing on. We fought you before. Wing on's definitely the best looking of the bunch that I've seen. Defeated. Okay. Last battle, I think, before Lizzie. This castle is famous for its dragon type Pokemon. Let me show you mine. What have you got? Dragana. 
Yeah, more pink me's. Oh, no more Surpyros. They're not fun. And if Lizzie has a Surpyro, maybe I should bring Fang with me. Just because I don't really have anything else that's good against them. And that could be a team sweeper, so. Might bring Fang. And that leaves one slot left. If she has four Pokemon, I don't even know. Uh, Droot, you know what? I think you're part grass type, so. Yeah, neutral hit. Oh. Having a dragon type does not guarantee you'll win the battle. Nope. Okay. I have no idea where the heck Rick went off to, but I guess he's done here. Hello. Ah, you're the trainer with the Megastone, aren't you? I battled one a few minutes ago. He also had a Megastone. I think his name was Robbie. Oh, you're right. His name was Rodney. He was a tough opponent. He managed to defeat me. Wow. Good job, Rodney. My brother hasn't come by yet. I think he's still training. But I don't think it'll be enough. Haha. <laughs> so you want me to teach you- No, I think Rick is stronger than Rodney. So you want me to teach you how to use the Megastone Professor Pinewood gave you? Alright, I'll tell you, but you have to battle me first. You should know I was trained by Rex to be his Castellan for his castle, which means I'm really strong. If you manage to defeat me, I will give you something in order to use your Megastone. Okay, let's start a battle. I'll show you the strength of dragon types. How many can I enter? Oh, only three. Okay. Well, A-team, here we go. Castell and Lizzie. Findra. Oh, we've seen, um... We've seen the first form of this one. Ouch. Oh. Get out of here with your hyper potions. Although I guess it just gives me more chance to heal hit points with Marjorie. Fine, be that way. Good job. I wonder if she's gonna have water, fire, and grass then. Cryodra. No, that sounds like an ice type. Whoa. That's a fancy. Oh, and it mega evolves. Oh boy. It's uh, very fancy now. It's level 50. Oh. Oh, jeez, and it's tanky. Oh boy. I guess the good news is, though, Fang with Flamethrower is a neutral hit on this one. Oof. Oh, uh, would Flash Cannon be any better? Maybe? Nope. Oh, that was actually a good choice of moves, then. Good job, Marjorie. Yeah, this girl's no joke. Apparently neither is Marjorie, though. Marjorie tank in this. As she tends to. Okay, it's ice type, though. Um, let's see. I mean, I know flamethrower is just a neutral hit, but... Yeah, not great. Oh, that ice beam is so strong. She's gonna hyper potion it too. Oh, but it's burned. She's not gonna get to hyper potion it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Fang. Fang doesn't get the experience though. Later, Cryodra. Mega Cryodra. What a battle. You're full of energy. Oh wow, you're a really talented trainer. I never thought I'd be defeated by two young trainers in a row. I believe you're strong enough to handle Mega Evolutions. Here, take this. Got the Mega Ring! This is the Mega Ring. It contains a Keystone. The Keystone is a stone that acts as a medium between a Pokémon trainer and one of their Pokémon. If your Pokémon is holding a Mega Stone and you activate the Keystone, they react and your Pokémon is able to Mega Evolve. Some of the Pokémon in this region are able to Mega Evolve, like my Cryodra. I hope this will help you in your journey. Be careful, I gave Rodney a Mega Ring too, and he took another for a girl named Kira. 
I think he has a crush on her. Haha. <laughs> okay, so wait, she's not just gonna give out mega rings to anybody unless they beat her, but she's like, oh yeah, by the way, you can have them for your girlfriend. <laughs> you frickin' beat me, I'll give him one too. So your friends will all be really strong. If you wanna battle me again, I'll be here in Rasset Castle. Bye! Oh, can we just battle her a lot? Fun. But hey, Fang can mega evolve now, so that's fun. Oh, there's Rax. Oh, Rex is gonna be a pain in the Elite Four. Oh, Shade, there you are. I heard you're battling Lizzie in the castle. Ah, uh, that's a mega ring, so you won the battle. Congrats! We're working hard to understand the balance crystal and determine if it can help us stop this Team Solar and Lunar guys. Don't you worry. There's a reason I wanted to speak with you. You're a magnificent Pokemon trainer. You won the battle against the Solar Commander, Gloria, with ease. And now you've defeated Lizzie, too, so I have a gift for you. It'll help in your battle against Team Solar and Lunar, too. As you know, I'm a Dragon-type specialist, so I'd like to give you a rare Dragon Egg. <gasps> Oh, it's the elemental dragons. With a different second type. I want the fairy one. Uh, that would be the purple one, because the pink one was that other one, I think. Oh, uh, please be the purple one. I, yeah, I really want that Faily or whatever it was. Uh, I'll check the Pokedex again here in a second. We'll double check. Although that ice one was also really good. Yeah, because pink me would be the pink one. There's Serpyro and Drood. So Drood is the grass one, so probably green, red, pink, blue, purple. Right? Yeah. There you go. Oh, do we want that one though? What is pink me then? Is it water type? Must be water type. So we have grass, fire, water, electric, and fairy. Oh, can we not get the ice one then? Where even is the ice one? Uh, oh, there's Cryodra. Oh yeah, maybe we can't. Oops, oh boy, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's see, can we catch you? No. Okay. Interesting. Well, we're gonna take the purple egg. Because I'm 90% certain that's the one we wanted. Oh, also, let's check out you. Uh, clear body. Shatter gem. The user shatters the gem and holds the leash great light. The type of the mood changes depending on the held item. Oh. Maybe on the held gem? Oh, probably held gem. That's fancy. Okay. Let's go get our egg. Choose carefully. Green, red, pink, yellow, purple. What was the yellow one then? Maybe we didn't see the yellow one. Splendid. I think that one is perfect for you. Okay, now I have to find Roddy and give him an egg as well. Good luck, Shade. Oh, so Roddy's gonna have a dragon Pokemon too. Fantastic. Okay, please be the one we wanted. Okay, that looks like the one we wanted. Uh, it's probably a 9,000 step egg though. But I would like to use it. Because it sounds like a good Pokemon to use. Especially we're going to be fighting more dragons. Uh, so... What we're going to do here is do a little bit of party shuffling. Uh, okay. So we can either get rid of Vincent or Might. Uh, both aren't great choices though, are they? Because Might's good against fairies, but I guess so is Marjorie. Let's get rid of Might, uh, just because I have the most overlap for type coverage, because he's good against grass, but I have Fang for that. He's good against flying, but I have electric types for that. He's good against fairy, but we have Marjorie. So we'll put Might away for now. Yeah. Did we heal, by the way? Yeah, we did. Okay. Perfect. Let's take our egg with us, then. And then head to Green Pine City. Uh, I'm just gonna go out here just to make sure nobody's gonna tell me story things. Oh. And let's get an encounter.
Okay. And let's fly back down. And now we can go somewhere else. I wonder, is this the dragon guy? No, he's water. I wonder if having the egg in our party counts as a dragon type. I'm also going the wrong way. Because there was the Draco plate person that we didn't get. Alright. Empty. This route leads you to Whisper Tunnel, a really spooky cave. Uh, fisher person. I love this place. I get to enjoy the amazing smell of flowers while I fish for Pokemon. Maybe there's some fairy types on this route then. All the flowers. Fisherman Clancy. Swellagant. Cool. Yeah, I really like Swellagant's design. It's unfortunate that it's really weak to electric, though. And a Yapple. I'm gonna guess that's Yayax. Or y y y I can't pronounce that name. Yayax Evolution. Yackle. Sure is. Bulk up, huh? Oh, is it part water type? Also, ouch. That one hurt. Good thing we have bloodthirst. And leftovers. Back to fishing. It said that this route is the home of the legendary Pokemon Healthia, but I've never seen it. Yeah. I wonder if the garbage dump is where Pollution is. Because, I mean, it would be fitting. Hilarious, too. But also fitting. Oh, there's just pool dogs in the... Well, in the pool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna not... And Swalligans. So this probably isn't a half bad place to train either. Which I might do before the next episode. Because things are starting to catch up to us again. That's a big dog though. Okay. Got some more Apricorns. Blue ones. I wonder what's in the tree. Actually, I wonder what's in the flowers, too. So many questions. Hums apps. And the tree. I said in the tree. Ahem. <clears throat> in the tree. There we go. Yeah, oh, bud sores. A very pink one. All right, what else is in the grass? Got to be something good. Oh, well, there's Lavin Bell's of final evolution, Lavinrina. That's pretty neat. Lots of little thumbs ups. Hmm. Nope, can't move. Oh, hello, Healthia. Are you just gonna fight me? Please don't. Okay, good. That guy saw it. <laughs> Did you see that Pokemon just now? That was Healthia. It's a legendary Pokemon. Healthia is known as the growth Pokemon. It has the ability to grow plant life in desolate places with a single touch. That's why those flowers appeared there. Actually, all these flowers are made by Healthia. This area is said to be the place where it lives. Isn't that wonderful? I wonder if you'll ever get the chance to see it again. Foreshadowing! Okay. 
Okay. There's a lot going on around here. I love this route. The sunflowers look so awesome. What are you? Oh, Gardener. Okay. Gardener Larissa. <laughs> what? What is that? Oh my god, that's Bush Pops Evolution. Oh. There were a lot of things I was, I was expecting. This is not one of them. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. That is super funny. <laughs> that poor thing. I wonder if he can get different forms for it. That would be kind of cool if he could, but... Oh. Uh, an 11 arena. Okay. Yikes. That's all I have to say about the topiary dog. Bushiary? Bushiary? I'm just trying to learn Super Fang. Uh, a little late for that, isn't it? I'm gonna pass on that. Good for catching stuff, I guess, but yeah. You know that Green Pine City is surrounded by flowers? It's so beautiful. Okay, what's over here? Ah, oh, berry. Oh, Healthia just disappeared somewhere over here. Hmm. I'm guessing that's a post-game thing that we'll get to do? Catch all the legends? Solar beam. Whoa. I need a break from looking at the sunflowers. How about a battle? Sure. Gardener Leroy. Oh, we almost one shot it. What else you got? Do you have one of those topiary dogs? Nope, got an e uh, eco buzz. Uh, I guess being part of elect. Oh, don't thunder wave me. Rude. Yeah, man. Break is over. There's so many nice sunflowers in this route, I love them. Uh, where is our paralyzed? There we go. Now, speaking of items, I should probably check. Vincent probably has an item. Sure does. Hyper Potion. Okay, anything else in the tree? Yes. Oh, Doveheart again. Been a while since I've seen you guys. Nothing that way. What else is in the grass? Oh, um, Pixel Lily, but the male version. Haven't seen that one yet. Neat. Hey, let me show you my aromatic Pokemon in a battle. Roma Lady Kathy. Yeah, she's got a Pixel Lily. Just not great for Vincent, so please take it out in one hit. Thank you. Uh, bush up. Aw, she doesn't have the final evolution of it. See, like, that thing looks so unassuming. I thought it would just get like a, you know, big bush dog thing, like, just a bigger one. It surprised me. Yeah, see, she's got the Lavanrina. She should have the topiary dog. Bushiary. Yeah. Oh no. I love grass type Pokemon, they smell like fresh flowers. Oh, you know who we really should have up front? Uh, Fang, because he can Mega Evolve now, and we haven't checked that out yet. Also, there's a cave. Entrance to Whisper Tunnel. Oh, right. The spooky cave. Okay. 
Oh, there's the Mega Evolution. Zed. Uh, and we'll faint attack it so that we can look at ourselves. Kabloof. Oh, we turned very red. <laughs> now we've got extra floofiness. Okay, good. We didn't kill it so we can see what our front look looks like. Uh, da, 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 summary. Oh. Okay, so we're very red and orange. Solar power. In sunshine, special attack is boosted, but HP decreases. Oh my god, that'd be brutal for Fang, who has heightened special attack already, but we don't have Sunny Day. That'd be a good one to set up if you had a Pokemon with um, Drought. Alright, Fang. Murder. Good job. Okay. Well, that's fun. Oh, it is very dark in here. Uh, where are we? Should we register that? Ooh, Pokemon. Oh, there's uh, Cyril's. And this would be a good place for Wismer, but there's no Pokemon from past gens yet. Oh, are we stuck now? Hey, hey, this tunnel leads you to Green Pine City. How about a battle? Oh, I think we can get by to the hiker's left. Cosmet. Do you have Levitate? Time to find out. After we get some boosted stats. Yeah, essentially we get floofier. It does not have Levitate. That poor thing. And an Eclipser. Uh, Psychic Rock, right? With Oh, it doesn't have Levitate, though. Nice. Not that that's ever worked for me. Hey, hey. I've heard here in Whisper Tunnel there's a mysterious temple, but I haven't found it yet. Okay, we can get by him. What are you? Hypnopuff. It's like a grounded Muna. Okay, there's a person there. What's up here? Item? Yeah. Airstone. Isn't that one of the evolution stones? Yeah. Can we use that on anybody? No, of course not. We're uh we're fully evolved. Speaking of Pokemon, how are we supposed to get those other dragon type ones? Hey, don't move, this is a tunnel for psychics like me. Um, because you can't find them in the wild, and there's like five of them. So there's gotta be a way. Oh, uh, what was this? It was ghost flying, wasn't it? Uh, is dark good against ghost? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Or is that psychic? Dark's good against psychic. Is it good against ghost? Yes, it is. Okay. Ban shriek. Wow, nice. One shot. Didn't think we were gonna get that. And a Hypno Puff, which I'm guessing is Psychic. I was gonna say possibly Psychic Poison? Yeah. Don't poison. Good. How could I lose? Okay, you can move on. Sorry. Help me! Can somebody help me? Uh-oh. Oh boy. Somebody got trapped. Shade, have you heard that cry too? It sounded like an older man is in danger. Oh, what's that behind you? A puzzle? <laughs> Kira's just call it how it is. I hate puzzles. I think you can solve it so we can move on. Oh, thank you, Kira. So kind. Okay, 
Uh, that has to go up. Boy, this isn't much of a puzzle, I have to say. No, I just want the item. Shade, you solved the puzzle. Let's go further. I wonder where the cries come from. Ah, team Lunar. Hey, you two, please help me. They want to steal some white stone from this temple. Hold your tongue, wannabe hiker. We're Team Lunar. We do whatever we want. Oh, look at them. If it's not the little twerps again. Still trying to thwart our plans, huh? You're late as always. The windstone is ours. You can't stop us. Dream on. You won't be able to collect all stones to summon Solarin and Lunaro. Ah, I see you made your homework, little girl. You guys are really the last hope of Professor Pinewood? Ha <laughs> ha. I can't believe that. Whatever. It doesn't matter if you know our goals or not. We will stop you. Shade, you're stronger than me. Take out the commander. I'll battle the goons. Huh. <laughs> Fighting Marcus again. Oh, he only has three Pokemon. Pfft. Okay, uh, that thing is rock water. Which is great. So this is a neutral hit. Now, oh, please one shot it. No. Megalofang. Okay, whatever that is, it's doing damage. Rock type? So a rock fang of some sort, I'm guessing? Uh, okay, rock water. Boop. Later. And a countula. So you're very weak to electric. And a spec stone. Oh, no way. Is that gravel's evolution? That is a fancy if it is. Dang, I like that one. What's one battle if you have higher goals? I don't care about battles anymore. It just delays the fulfillment of our plan. We got the windstone. That's all we need for the moment. You twerps won't be able to take down Team Lunar. Smokescreen. What was that? Who are those guys? What were they talking about? The windstone? Solarin and Lunaro? Never mind. That's none of my business, I guess. I'll leave this tunnel as fast as I can. Thanks for your help. Please take care of yourself. Bye. So now they have the windstone. That only leaves one more stone to be found. This isn't good shape, but as long as you have the core stone with you, their plans won't work. Oh, by the way, Green Pine City isn't far from here. It's just through the end of this tunnel. I'm heading there now. I'll contact the professor and tell him about this new incident. First, let me... Oh, thank you. I was hoping she would do that. See you in Green Pine City, Shade. Well, let's get our free items, then. And is this like an ice temple? No, they said it was flying, right? Yeah. Oh, right. Gotta use the flashlight. Loop. Twisted spoon. Wait, did we not already have a twisted spoon on Lunape? What are you holding then? Oh no, you're holding the expert belt, right. Encounter. What's a Cyril's? Okay. I like how Kira didn't want to do the quote-unquote puzzle that really isn't a puzzle because they're like, well, if you screw it up, then I guess you can't really uh, reset it. <laughs> okay. Ominous wind. More psychic type trainers. A heck ton of Cyrils. Alright, let's go. Hey, I've trained my psychic skills in this tunnel. Let me show you. More Hypnopuff. Uh, let's try a Dusty Dash. Assuming it doesn't have Levitate. Because we'll get Stab off a Dusty Dash at least. Yeah. That's a lot better. 
Not good. I'm assuming we can find these in here. Alright, level up. Thanks trying to learn Will O Wisp. Not worth it. And a snoozy. So many cute little ghost friends. Oh, that was a neutral hit. Well, flamethrower time then. My skills are still weak. Mistablet is my favorite psychic type Pokemon. It has amazing skills. I wonder what a Mistablet is. Okay. Must be almost through this tunnel. Oh, look, more snoozies. Another hiker? Oh, you can just find band shrieks here. Fun. If I win, could you show me the exit? Oh, so that means that the exit is close. Every time we find one of these people, they always seem to tell me that the exit is super nearby, so... Yay. Alright, Marjorie. One shot everything. I know you can do it. You might not be able to one shot that. Um maybe. Mm, that's a neutral hit, nope. Oh, never mind. Okay, don't underestimate Marjorie. Please, where is it? If only I had a Pokemon with the move flash. Oh yeah, that's right. I guess this is a dark cave. Or a dark tunnel. On way. Item. Uh, Cosmet. That startled me because the way it was coming in, I was like, is that a shiny one? No, it is not. Maybe we're not close to the exit for once. What? Yeah, man. Nope, got a double battle coming up though. That's some psychic type people. So that means we're gonna throw Lunape in the second slot. Oh, I guess Vincent would be good too, but Lunape needs experience. Aw, oh, come on. Come on, little Cyril. I will push you back to the entrance. You don't stand a chance against a psychic couple. How long have you guys been standing here just waiting for people to walk by? Okie doke. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, Bug Buzz should still be okay. And then you. No, wait. Cyril's ghost type, right? So. Oh, Dark Matter hits both of them. Okay. Perfect. That worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Oh, and that's a neutral hit. Okay. Another one. And another one. Well, let's do that again then, you guys. Nice. Good going. Easy peasy fight. You second couple are not hard. You can leave the tunnel. I was wrong. Yep, okay, bye. Oh, there we go. Green Pine City. City of flowers and trees. Hello, my name is Daisy. I'm a Pokemon groomer, which means I can give one of your Pokemon a massage to raise their happiness. You know who really deserves, deserves a massage? Our girl Marjorie. She's the real MVP. Hello, hello, I'm the official name- Wow, it takes this long to get to the name reader? Oof. Have you heard of Bailey? He's the gym leader here. He loves nature. I've heard he spends a lot of time at Tropic Jungle doing research- Oh, that's right, there was the Tropic Jungle, wasn't there? That'll be exciting. Uh, let's heal, though. Thanks for waiting. Any quests? Oh, one quest. Hey, are you interested in cool task? Sure. Awesome, okay, just listen. 
Gym leader Bailey imposed me with a task to count all red and blue. What? <laughs> We're doing a counting thing. Thing is, I'm afraid of wild Pokemon, so I have too much fear to enter the jungle. Count all red and blue flowers in Tropic Jungle and tell me the amount, okay? <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's gonna be funny. Um, okay. I don't know if you guys can hear me that well over this music. It's really loud. So we're gonna stand in here. Uh, we're over the hour mark again. So I'm gonna end the episode here. We'll have to check out Green Pine City next episode because who knows how long that's gonna take. Uh, and before I start the next episode, I will do some training. I probably won't train in this tunnel because it doesn't seem like it'll be that great. I might go back to Rassic City in that area. Maybe see if I can catch some dragon types. Um, but other than that, I'll show you guys what's going on, and then we'll see you next week.